Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you again how to get whatever house you want in Sims 4 no matter how much money you start off with. So first things first, I'm just in Willow's Creek here and um, you're going to go to manage household. So basically um, you just created a person, so I just created her, Nava here, and this household I have not played with. Now, you click on her and you can tell I haven't played with her because it doesn't have the sim symbol all the way to the left. So this one I have played and as you see here, that symbol is only on characters or sims that you've made and played on a lot with them already. And to change this, all you do is mark as unplayed. And that is a very important step to to get this um kind of glitch here without using cheats so it doesn't ruin the gameplay you'll need to know how to mark your sim that you want to move into that house with as unplayed so here we go this girl right here so I'm starting with I've marked her unplayed and now I'm just gonna move her into a house and we're gonna move her to this empty lot because uh, she actually starts off with three thousand dollars I've done this to her before let's actually go uh, yeah let's go here all right so we're purchasing the home now as you can see she's living there sorry my control is a little bit weird guys anyway she's living there it's a clean lot clearly you guys see and she does not have a lot of money but I'm going to change that all right here and I'm going to show you how. Now, once you're ready for this step in choosing your house after you've either created a character or you're picking one that's already in your library, you're going to need to make sure that that person is unplayed, marked as unplayed for this glitch to work. So we're going to go ahead and go straight to build mode after everything is set. So, we're on the lot, it's empty, now you're going to click on the little build house, and as you can see right here, it's as if you're in build mode, but it's everything's free, you don't have to pay for anything. And it only works once you've put that sim marked as unplayed. Then you'll have this little symbol that pops up, and it kind of like doesn't even include their household income. And then you can get right away. You can either build something here and um, just build your future home here and go ahead and live in it. But keep in mind that you might need some rent money. As you know, Sims always gives you mail and tells you to pay the rent. So what I would consider doing is somewhere on the lot, um, you can delete them afterwards, but somewhere on the lot... You're going to go ahead and place maybe like the ex most expensive table that you can find. So with the most spots on it. So this one's pretty good. Or we're just going to throw it anywhere. And now you're going to go ahead and click on computers. You can place computers on tables or desks. So whatever one that you have unlocked. If you have this one, the out of this world desktop, if you have it unlocked, go ahead and use that one. But Basically, you just want to get the most expensive, since you know everything's free, you're not really paying for it. So you're going to go ahead and put that there. Now, I know this all seems weird, but I promise, it, it works out. So, I'm playing on PlayStation 4, so I'm going to press triangle to copy whatever button you use to copy the table, and then press that same button again and again and again. And you're just going to do that for... Um, it all depends on really how much money you want. I'm just going to do it in three rows. So you guys can get the gist of what I got going on. So you're going to do the same thing with the computer. Press a triangle or whatever it is. 
and you're just gonna fill up these tables. This will allow you, it, it, I know it sounds weird, but it will allow you eventually um, to be able to either, you can build your own house that you want to live in and have all the money for rent, or you can move into a house that's already in the Sims game, or you can actually input a house from the library that you haven't created or that you have and just place it on the lot. This little technique here is to get you and gather you some money. So say if I already built my house over here, this is my rent money and this is how I'll show you. What we're gonna do here is just go right back after you're done building, right back to manage worlds. By the way, if anyone has some answers on why the wizards can't have children, let me know in the comments because I'm a bit confused. I bought the um, Realm of Magic and it's just, I don't know if it's the game, if it's meant to be like that or if it's just mine, but let me know guys. Anyway, as you can see, this lot that we have the Nava Girl at with the tables oddly press place there we're gonna go ahead and click on her and press play if you're reading the screen get the get to work download content Alright, so now as you can see her money is here, right? And she doesn't have a lot of money, but what we're going to do is go in build mode again. But you have to do it from here, you have to play as her for a moment, or him, whoever you have. And then, what you're going to do is, um, depending on what you did, like if you just did a whole lot of tables, then you're gonna just bulldoze the whole entire lot. If you have like a house already, say you place this house on this lot and that's what you want to live in and then you put the rent money slash aka you know tables and computers on the side, then you're just gonna click each one and delete them one by one. But since I just have the tables, I'm gonna bulldoze it so you guys can really see exactly what I mean on how this works. So bulldoze the lot, now go back to live mode. And as you can see, her household funds have skyrocketed. And I only did those small three amounts. And so, you know, possibilities are endless. Now, I can even play as her. Yes, I know you're so sad you have no house. She actually looks a little bit happy. She's like, I have money. Yep, she's going to go right into her phone. Uh. Alright, so what we're going to do, since I did say you can get whatever house, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Oh, I forget where I'm going. Huh. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to move her. Oh, it's right there in my face. <laughs> I usually don't do this in-game. I go to manage. But today we're just going to play as her real quick. I'm going to move her to whatever house she wants. should move her. I want to turn her into a wizard. 
But I don't think I have space in this world here for her. Unless I kick some people out of their home. But, um... Oh wait, you don't think no one can live here? She could. Alright. For the heck of it. Why not? She'll be the only house on the block. She owns the whole world. my new all her money and I'm gonna go into the library and just place a random house right there all right so the current lot is 30 by 20 so we're gonna look for 30 by 20 houses This looks so dark. Why can't I see this? Oh, okay. So I've built this and I forgot about it. We're just gonna place the lot. For the heck of it. Just lives in a mini castle, I guess, underground slash. Hidden castle. I really forgot how the inside of this looks, but just for the video purpose, you guys get what I mean. Build your house or pick a house, and you're able to now just place it wherever you want, live in it, don't have to worry about rent, and you can still go ahead and play the gameplay just like normal. It'll still show up all your whims or whatever they're called, and you can still. Um, finish their aspirations and gather trophies so this is her odd house on the block hope you guys enjoyed the video um, go ahead and like it if it helped you if it worked out and uh, if you have any questions drop them in the comments and I might as well show you guys really quickly just a little house that she's got going on here. It's all right, not the best. In the baby's room, of course. All right. Well, as you can see, she's getting comfortable now. Already getting into her house. And we have all this money left over to pay all the bills. And her aspiration. Still there, guys. Have a good one.